Well, I knew there would be questions and I knew what the questions would be, but I posted them anyways. And here's what I did. Uh, in the last few weeks, I've been posting some pictures of monitor balancing. I've been posting some images about my color checker that I use. I've been talking a little bit on some different groups about my monitor balancing and about this and that. And of course, the questions come up or rather the comments come up of, well, I guess you have to do that if you're going to be a professional photographer. And then people get into it about how if you're not doing all of this stuff, you're not taking good pictures. Well, I have to tell you, monitor balancing, doing color checkers, checking your histogram on your camera for the perfect bell curve, all of that stuff is just fluff. You can still take a great image without killing yourself on all the other stuff. As a photographer or as any business person that delivers a final product, we're not selling the stuff to get us to that product. We're selling the final product. So whether you're selling a wedding photo or whether you're selling a commercial photo or whether you're selling a nature print, you are selling the final print. Your client does not care whether you're using a DSLR or a mirrorless, whether you're using a uh, Canon or a Nikon, whether you're using a pro lens or a non-pro lens, they don't care. And I see so many posts from people who are so bogged down into all the fluff that they can't produce a good product. Here's something that happened to me a number of years ago. I was one of the first studios in Southern Alberta to go fully digital. After I went digital, I was invited to go and speak at a lo local camera club about digital photography. When I walked in, there was a group of five gentlemen who had bought digital cameras. They were ex just blown away by the fact that I was getting good images from my digital camera. They had went out and bought the most expensive digital cameras that they could afford that were on the market at the time. Forget about what they could afford. They had bought these cameras, bought the lenses for them, bought the best cards for them, and they had yet to get a good picture. When I asked them why, what was the problem? The number one complaint was, we're not getting a perfect bell curve when we take a picture. So they were checking their histogram and it wasn't looking like a perfect bell curve. I says, well, that's almost impossible to achieve. And they went ballistic. Oh no, you don't understand. A picture has to be a perfect bell curve or it's not a perfect picture. I says, but a bell curve is only a representation of the colors of the density in that image. It's not the image. And these people went ballistic. I knew I couldn't help them, so I just walked away, came back, continued taking my digital pictures and continued selling my digital pictures. A number of years later, I had somebody come in and they wanted to talk to me about shooting a gray card before every assignment that they were going out to. And I says, well, it's a great idea. It'll definitely help but you honestly don't have to do it. Well, they were just, they were devastated that I said this. They said, oh no, no, you have to do it. Everybody does it. You're not a photographer if you don't do it. Those things help you get better pictures, but they're not what you're selling to your client. Your client doesn't care whether you are shooting this or that. Your client doesn't care what you've done to get to that point. Your client cares about the final product. So stop trying to sell all of the fluff and start trying to sell the product because the product is what will make you money, not all the stuff to get up there. I have printing clients who come in and I'll print a print three, four, five times. I'll do test strips for them. I'll do everything and they're just, I can't sell this, I can't sell this, I can't sell this. And when I finally get them to admit why they can't sell it, has nothing to do with the print. The problem was when they shot the picture, something didn't go perfect in their mind. The bell curve wasn't there, or they didn't shoot this, or they didn't shoot that. The picture's perfect, but they're not gonna sell the print because of the stuff that happened getting the print. Clients don't care. Clients want a final product. When you go to a restaurant, you're not asking the waitress, what knives does a chef use to prepare my dinner? 
You're not asking the waitress, where do you get this from? Where are your plates from? Which stove are you using? You're asking how good is the food because that is your product. So if you're a photographer, stop getting bogged down in all the fluff and start selling your images. That is who you are. So until next time, get out there, get some great images, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye now. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click on the like button, which is the thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when any new videos are uploaded. Thank you and have a great day.